people. So I wanted to make a video and kind of catch people up on what's been going on. So I am currently 23 days, even I stutter, 23 days out from stepping on stage. And I'm What is going on YouTube fam and all of my followers watching this or people that have no idea who I am and are following this. So I have been MIA, I know. I've received some messages from people like, Josh, when are you gonna make another video? Not many people because I'm not important. Nobody really cares about my life, but a couple people. So I want to make a video and kind of catch people up on what's been going on. So I am currently 23 days, even I stutter. 23 days out from stepping on stage and I'm feeling freaking awesome. Um, anybody that's been following my Instagram, you see, you know, my progress has been better than it's ever been. I feel awesome. I'm still eating whatever I want in moderation. Um, yeah, I mean, things have been going good. I, going good. I've just been really focused. I mean, that's not the only reason. Honestly, I have no idea what to record. I kind of get annoyed recording in the gym, so I don't want to record in the gym all the time. I hate having to drag around a camera and I would like... I guess it's just because I'm in prep and I'm really trying to focus. So, like, because I'm trying to focus, you know, the last thing I'm thinking about is, like, oh, I need to record this set. I need to record this exercise. And I hope you all can understand that, that, like, I do take competing seriously. And I do want to provide content for you all. But that makes it a lot easier on Instagram, where I just post a picture, a quick 15-second video, and then I can type a caption out. Rather than record every single thing I'm doing, which I want to get to that point. But it's just, right now, I'm still so new to the YouTube game that... It's not a habit that I record everything I do. I mean, I want to get, eventually get there because I know I have a lot of people that do enjoy um, watching these videos and it actually helps give a lot of people good insight and information and give a new perspective on things um, that follow my Instagram or Snapchat. And if you don't follow my Instagram or Snapchat, Instagram is at Josh Bryan Fitness and my Snapchat is Josh.Bryan, B-R-Y-A-N, 45. And I post a crap load of stuff on Snapchat. So I'm actually more active on Snapchat than Instagram and that's hard to believe because Instagram is so popping. But I post Snapchats all throughout the day and you can get a lot of good valuable information out of my snaps. So um, update, today is Friday, no, today's Thursday. I don't even know the date. Hold on. I'm going to grab my phone. Thursday, the 18th. And I woke up this morning at an all-time low. So let me flash back two days ago. So two days ago, I was 190, 196 or like 197, something like that. And I was really happy with my weight. And then, no, 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 yeah. I was 193.8. So I was actually really happy because I went from 196 to 193.8 two days ago. And then I under ate a little bit on accident just because I was really busy. Like I had Chipotle and then like two other meals, but it wasn't enough. I didn't actually hit my macros. I under ate and I didn't mean to. And I woke up yesterday at 190. Like even I was like, holy fuck, like I need to get my I need to get my weight back up because what people have to realize is losing weight isn't always a good thing. If you lose too much weight too fast, that's not a good thing. Like it, it's probably water, but some of it could be muscle. Some of it could be uh, fat. It, I mean, you don't want losing weight fast isn't always a good thing. So keep that in mind. If you lose fucking 10 pounds in a week, you, you need to slow down. You need to change something because it's too much. So me, I aim for one to 1.5. Um, sometimes two pounds a week, but I don't really want to hit the high end, especially this close to the show because the more, I don't want to lose a drastic amount of weight and then look small, look flat. It's just a big process. So going back to what I was saying, two days ago, you know, I woke up, I was 193.8 and then yesterday I woke up at 190 and I was like, holy shit, okay. So I increased my macros and I went out and I got burger and fries and other things. If you've seen my Instagram or you follow me on Snapchat, you know all that. If not, go back and go to my Instagram, Josh Prime Fitness, and you'll see I had delicious burger and fries and other food. And today, <laughs> I was thinking I was going to wake up at like 193, 194. We'll go up at 189.6. So... <laughs> It's, my body's crazy, I have crazy metabolism. Um, I worked really hard on my metabolism in the off season um, to build it up, you know, it's all about metabolic rate, it's all about doing a proper reverse diet, and I would love to teach 
whoever is watching this more about that. Um, if you want to send me an email, uh, joshbryanfitness at gmail.com, we can talk more in depth about it. But today I am doing, I'm just hitting my normal numbers. Um, if people know, I don't really discuss what my numbers are because it's just, if you try it, it's not gonna work for you. It's the same thing if, if you open up a magazine and see what Arnold Schwarzenegger eats or what Ronnie Coleman eats and you try to eat it, you're gonna get fat. If you try to eat the Michael Phelps diet, you're probably gonna get fat. Like everybody needs their own individualized program and it's really important to figure out what works for you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hit my normal numbers today. Tomorrow I'm doing my cheat. Tomorrow's Friday and I will be exactly three weeks out. Now, what I'm gonna do that some people don't do but it's actually really smart, so if you're watching this, you're welcome because you should try it if you're lean enough. This is only for people that are lean enough to try it. What you should do if you're like four weeks out or three weeks out and you're ready to step on stage basically, you are lean enough, do a mock peak week. So what a mock peak week is, whatever you're planning on doing, even if it's drastic like cut your carbs all the way down or cut your water, manipulate your sodium, try it before the actual show. So for example, I'm gonna do a mock peak week from Saturday until Saturday and act as if my two weeks out is the show. So next Saturday is basically, I'm gonna be acting as if I'm peaking for the show. So it's still gonna give me two whole weeks, well basically a week to get my body back off of the, the peak week and then re-peak for the show again because I'm trying something, I'm trying a new method um, for my peaking, I actually linked up with Austin Current and Alex Bush with Campus Physique, and they're gonna help run me through a different style of peak week. Um, it's just not as drastic as what I'm used to doing. So my clients, I make sure they're doing a healthy, really good approachable peak week. Some people need more drastic than others. Me personally, I've always done more of the drastic side where I cut water completely, I cut carbs, then I do a big old spike in carbs, and I, I manipulate sodium, potassium. I've always done that for myself. But I, I'm always open to learning new things and trying new things and trying new methods to expand my knowledge. So Austin and Alex are gonna help run me through a much different approach where I'm not cutting water, um, I'm not really manipulating things as drastically. So I'm really excited to see kind of how it works. So we're gonna mock Peak Week that this week and then see how it works. If it works awesome, then we're gonna run that into the show. So I'm really pumped to try it out and see how I look. Um, but yeah, I just want to catch everybody up. Things are going really well. Um, this prep is seriously the best prep I've ever had in my life. Um, yeah, no food restrictions, no insane amounts of cardio. Honestly, I don't have any cravings really, but I'm, I'm still doing cheat meals. I mean, everybody knows that. And that's for me. Not everybody can get away with them. Not everybody should do them. Um, and if you want more information on cheat meals, refeeds, please email me, joshbryanfitness at gmail.com. I love to talk to people about that stuff because um, it's foreign to a lot of people and a lot of people don't give out good information on it. So, yeah, I hope you all are having a freaking incredible day and I am so sorry of my lack of postings. I just, guys, I really have no idea what to make videos of. Like, I know that may sound stupid, but like, because I'm so new to the YouTube thing, I'm not, I don't, I don't just want to record my whole day, you know, and a lot of people were complaining that my videos were 30 minutes long and I'm sorry, but I, just, I really don't know what to record. I, you know, workout videos, they're fun, but I, I work out at Gold. So it's like, in Gold's Gym isn't a gym, like at least the corporate ones, like the ones that are not in like Venice or like the really cool Gold's, we, we aren't supposed to be recording. We're not supposed to be uh, disturbing other people. So I don't have like a really fucking awesome gym that I can record at and get killer content for you all. But um yeah, so I mean, let me know what you want to see. I'd love to make more content. I, I do plan on um, recording like the whole week of the show because I think that would be like a cool series, like a 10 days out or an eight days out, seven days out and do um, a series on that so you all can see how I look every single day. Um, let me know what you think of that because I think that'd be a cool series. Daniel and Bailey did like an 11 day out series and I, I've made one, but I never posted it. So I would, but if you all like it, I'll make this one and I will use this footage. I didn't use the last footage. I still have it, but I didn't use it for my last show. But I would love to show you all, um, if you're interested that is. I don't wanna post anything nobody's really interested in. But yeah, let me know what you wanna see guys um, and girls, all my followers. But I just wanna keep you all entertained. I want you to enjoy the content I'm providing. If you want more videos where I'm just sitting in front of the camera um, going over a topic such as my fake natty video 
or um, my If It Fits Your Macros videos and flexible dieting videos. I like making those because I just get to talk and go straight to the point. But I also enjoy doing full day videos. I enjoy doing all these things. I love doing workout videos, but like I said, I just don't really have the luxury of a really like bro style gym where they're okay with bodybuilder friendly and whatnot. So let me know what you all want to see. Josh Bryan, me, I'm killing this prep, loving it, feel really freaking good. Um, yeah, so I hope you all have an awesome day. I'm running out of topics to talk about. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. I just wanted to keep you all updated what's going on with my life and what I'm up to. Today is exactly 23 days out. Tomorrow will be exactly three weeks out. Well, Saturday technically, but yeah. So I love you all for watching. Thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely comment what you want to see. And yeah, hope you all have a freaking awesome day and see y'all later.